Hey Kids on the Ridge, happy Thursday. Have you ever wanted to have a lot of money? Have you ever wanted to win the lottery? Have you ever thought about what you would do with all that money if you won the lottery? I would dig a giant hole, then I would fill that hole with water, then I'd put heaters in there to heat the water up, not just a swimming pool, I'm talking about giant, a giant scuba diving hole with heated water here in Washington. That'd be so much fun and we put fish in there and like boats and different things that you could do. That's what I would do if I won the lottery. I don't know what you'd do, but you probably have some pretty cool ideas. Well, Jesus was talking to uh, a young man who had a lot of money. He could build whatever scuba diving hole he wanted. He could buy any Lego, he could do whatever. And the young man said, Jesus, what do I have to do to be saved? And Jesus' response was really interesting. And we're gonna find out about that today. Are you willing to give up everything to follow Jesus? Well, let's find out. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the wealthy man. This is Jesus. hey Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness performed many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, a crowd gathered around Jesus to hear him talk. The crowd was so big that people were stepping on each other. Hey, watch it! Jesus was talking to his disciples when someone called out from the crowd. Hey, Jesus! Teacher! Tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Ah, uh, hold on there. Jesus said, Friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Be careful and guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life is not measured by the many things he owns. Huh? Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. <laughs> now take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said to him, You fool, you will die this very night. <laughs> Wait, what? Then who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. <laughs> 